Do mobs catch fire if you hit them through flames? Do copper golem statues output different redstone signal strengths? Depending on which pose they're in. And do zombies actually run away from creepers when they're about to explode? This is Minecraft Mythbusters. We're going to answer these and many more questions in the series. Let's jump right in. Copper golems are tiny, helpful little dudes that can sort items in your chest. But supposedly, the statue of a fully oxidized copper golem is able to output different redstone signal strengths depending on its pose. So let's test it real quick. I've placed a line of redstone across several blocks blocks with a redstone comparator in front. We place our copper golem statue and we see... We get a signal strength of 1. Now if we right click it... Oh, oh, oh no way! We actually get a higher signal strength. Depending on the pose it can go up to 4 blocks. Meaning this myth is true. I've heard that you can ignite mobs by hitting them with a sword through fire. So I built this little setup here and we're going to test it right away. Okay, 3, 2, one, nothing happened. Just to be safe, let's try again. Nope, still nothing. As far as I know, this only works with a bow. So this myth is false. In version 1.8, yep, way back then, there was supposedly a feature in the mob AI that made zombies run away from exploding creepers. I loaded this prehistoric version of Minecraft, so let's test it. Okay, I'll place a few of these guys, and then we'll use our flint and steel to ignite a creeper. <laughs> oh, did you see that? For a split second, you can see the zombie run away. This feature does not exist anymore today. Apparently, it cause too many performance issues and lag. But the myth itself? Still true. Got any other myths we should test? Drop them below. 